Our fascination with human-like robots never fades. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of my very own C-3PO, my very own cyborg. But with all the advancements in technology over the years, we never seem to be any closer to a bona fide human-like android, autonomous, sentient, seemingly conscious. AI has mostly lived on our screens, only surfaced through a chatbot. It hasn't been able to engage with much else beyond data we give it. It hasn't been able to see the world and interact with it. Truly complement human ability beyond augmenting it. Until now, driven by the intersection between advances in robotics and generative AI, once seen as science fiction, Robots that can interact naturally with our environment are fast becoming a reality. The synergy of robotics and large language models has opened up a new frontier for human-robot interaction that will revolutionize manufacturing and production and touch many sectors beyond. Robots just got a brain. This massive leap forward enables robots to operate seamlessly in the real-world environments for the first time environments designed around humans. A technology once individually programmed for specific tasks and settings now understands language, speech, vision, perception, practically overnight. What do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table. Breaking free from the confines of research labs and finally stepping into the real world. This revolutionary robot form may offer a route for a US Western manufacturing renaissance, an answer to an aging population and future labor shortages. This robot species will create an entirely new labor system, completely append the workforce of society as we know it. The stars are only now perfectly aligned and the race for humanoid robots is firmly on a race to dominate the world. We are witnessing potentially the biggest transformation in human history. We are no strangers to robots. From conveyor belt assembly lines lined with robotic arms on the factory floor, sorting warehouses buzzing with hundreds of automated pick and drop bots. The manufacturing and logistics industry has long been a pioneer of these technologies, and it's estimated some 65% of manufacturing is already automated to some degree. Robots to date perform in a walled garden, if you will, overseen and largely controlled by humans, pre-programmed. However, in recent years, robot technology has progressed immensely through sophisticated sensors and control systems to software design and AI. Robots have become autonomous, working alongside each other controlled by a central command or complex algorithms. These systems have revolutionized the logistics industry and sorting warehouses, cutting time and cost immensely. Amazon's fulfillment centers with some 750,000 robots across their facilities. Ocado, a UK-based online grocery retailer and a pioneer in the field, operates highly automated swarm robots that function on a grid system called the Hive. These robots are used to pick and pack grocery orders, optimizing speed and accuracy 24 seven. And more specialized quadrupedal robots like Boston Dynamic Spot are deployed across various industries due to their versatility and ability to navigate challenging terrains and dangerous environments. Oil and gas plants, construction sites, even search and rescue to military reconnaissance. However, robots haven't had a huge impact on the human workforce to date. Globally, the ratio of human labor to robots is 1,000 to one. Technological limitations and costs have slowed the progress of the initial automation revolution. Robots to date are largely single purpose. However, we are standing on the brink of a new robotic horizon a new industrial paradigm. Sometimes we witness a pivotal moment when two worlds collide, when two technologies independently give rise to each other, generative AI and robotic automation, with a force powerful enough to change history. The collision is happening right now with a sonic boom.
The AI revolution is set to expose white collar jobs. For the first time in history, the legal sector, accounting, healthcare, marketing to education and training. However, that might not be the case. Some research suggests that generative AI is more likely to highly augment and accelerate white collar jobs, freeing up more time for critical thinking and creativity. But as the AI revolution evolves, it's, it's becoming more apparent that the technology may have a, a bigger, more immediate impact on blue collar jobs. But this time robot automation doesn't augment human capacity, it's replacing it. What it does augment is a production process to such efficiency that cost of production is rendered insignificant. Generative AI foundation models just found the perfect home to showcase their ability away from just a prompt box. Imagine a humanoid form factor robot that can perform in any environment outside the walled garden, bridge the gap between specialized machine and human endeavor, a human-like robot that can perfectly navigate our built environment autonomously with spatial awareness, with seemingly human intelligence interconnected with all other systems, collaborate digitally on the fly, real-time ambient intelligence. This robot can do most jobs a human can, switch tasks immediately, no downtime, no complaints, a cost-effective, multi-purpose machine that can learn any skill just by observation. A general purpose tool that allows powerful AI systems to interact directly with the existing physical world, the right technology at the right time. And where this is heading is nothing short of the biggest disruption the world has ever witnessed and possibly present one of the biggest investment opportunities of our time. Strap in, this might get a little funky. It's the dawn of a new workforce species. Let's get into it. Much like we humans who learn through experiences, humanoids utilizing reinforcement learning or generative AI will gain expertise from interactions and adjust to new environments autonomously. But unlike humans who are limited to how quickly we can share our experiences or teach one another, highly networked humanoids can instantaneously share skill acquisition, learn from each other on the fly, embody all skills. What one humanoid learns, the others know. No training required, referred to as swarm intelligence. Besides never needing lunch breaks, the need to sleep, take holidays, Swarm intelligence alone will have the most profound disruption in human labor since the advent of the combustion engine a century ago. Swarm intelligence is a powerful collective behavior of self-organized systems that can instantly maneuver in perfect coordination. When a single robot gathers and shares data with all the others in the group, it transforms individual units into a cohesive, unified force. This unique skill acquisition is far beyond human capacity, impossible to compete with. Far beyond complex systems or algorithms running swarms today from central commands. Swarm intelligence with the capacity of the humanoid form factor to almost reason with the environment through human-like sensory mechanisms, vision, sound, speech, ambient intelligence, will totally append manufacturing production and the logistics industries. This versatility enables manufacturers to streamline their operations, intelligent, flexible automation. Humanoid swarms will become ubiquitous across industries and earn recognition as one of the most significant technological advancements of this century. The global race to build and deploy humanoids is a race to dominate manufacturing and production. China has long been the factory of the world, built over decades with a cheap and abundant labor force. However, manufacturing wages in China has jumped tenfold over the last 20 years. The gap is tightening. The labor market is in crisis, with demand far outstripping supply across various industries especially in Europe and the United States. We are sitting on a demographic time bomb, 
Chronic shortages are rampant and many low paying, dangerous and undesirable jobs go perpetually unfilled. This has ignited a high stakes global race to rapidly develop and deploy humanoids, not just within industries, but across sectors and between nations. Whilst the West is a long way off the East, humanoids deployed at scale will fill that critical automation gap and transform the economics of labor intensive and labor constrained sectors, a clear path to a Western manufacturing renaissance. At the estimated price of a small car, $20,000 to $40,000, with the ability to come online knowing everything within minutes of delivery, the rise of humanoids will trigger an unprecedented surge in productivity, as countless tasks once reliant on the limited supply of human workers are now performed more efficiently and cost-effectively by humanoid bots. BMW just took a major leap in manufacturing automation by deploying Figure's humanoid robot. The Figure 01 robot tackles five tough, repetitive tasks that human workers struggle with, showcasing human-like dexterity, perfect for jobs designed for human hands. The move marks a gradual learning-based integration into BMW's workforce. It highlights the automation of tasks previously out of reach from robotics in industry settings. The Figure 01 is integrated with OpenAI and is capable of engaging in full-fledged conversation with humans, showcasing the potential of robots bridging the gap between humans and machines. Truly next level. Can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Aptronic has recently inked a deal with Mercedes-Benz to explore advanced robotics in their manufacturing process. Mercedes-Benz is eyeing the use of Apollo humanoids in logistics, specifically for delivering assembly kits to the production line and inspecting components. Atlas, developed by Boston Dynamics, represents a significant leap in the field, showcasing exceptional capabilities in mobility, agility, and interaction with the environment. Boston Dynamics' collaboration with Hyundai has further propelled their Atlas bot into the realm of commercial use. Agility Robotics, and a humanoid digit designed to work alongside humans in sorting warehouses already in training and Amazon's fulfillment centers. Sanctuary AI, a Canadian company with a flagship humanoid called the Phoenix, with very impressive human-like dexterity. Uptech Robotics, a leader in the field from China, have robots working alongside humans at the Neo Electric Car Factories. Fournier and Unitree from China with their GR1 and H1 humanoids. And of course, Tesla's Optimus humanoid, designed and produced entirely in-house, leveraging Tesla's full self-driving software. Along with the company's innovative experience in manufacturing, Tesla designs and produces battery technology with direct access to material science and engineering from a rocket company. Tesla's Optimus program is held as one of the most advanced systems to date, able to discern objects not only by their shape, but also by their functionality, perform different tasks by adjusting resistance of what it touches, interact with the environment, and even evaluate its performance. The commitment of the largest companies to the humanoid form factor is evident. Apple, Google, Microsoft, and Nvidia in addition to its financial support to figure robotics, NVIDIA has announced Groot, a specific AI platform for humanoid robots, a plug and play brain. These are just a few companies leading the race today. And much like the race to develop EVs for mass market, the race will come down to the ability to scale production and keep costs down to a minimum, something Tesla and China are very good at doing. The industry for this form factor will be enormous, as big as the car industry, potentially a trillion dollar industry by 2030. It's happening again today. Solar, winds and batteries won't just push out fossil fuels, they'll build a whole new energy system. Autonomous electric vehicles won't just replace combustion engines, they'll create a revolutionary transportation network and reimagine our cityscape. Precision fermentation and cellular agriculture won't just substitute animal farming, 
They'll launch a brand new food industry and the humanoid robots won't just take over human jobs, they'll form a massive, more capable workforce. The specifics of this new labor species are still unfolding, but one thing's clear, the marginal cost for labor is set to plummet to near zero with huge ramifications for society. The year 2024 may well be remembered as the year when the term new species entered the lexicon, signifying a paradigm shift in the understanding of intelligent robots. Our society will have to become more creative than science fiction in imagining how we can best collaborate and coexist with this new species. Rather than constantly benchmarking them against humans, we should exploit their complementary capabilities. The rise of humanoid robots will revolutionize manufacturing and production. As technology evolves and industry insights grow, the future will be shaped by the synergy of human ingenuity and robotic precision, heralding a new era of innovation and growth. Well, looking ahead and imagining a world where man and machine are integrated in all industries is a daunting image of what is well underway and certainly will come.